This is the family farm. My great great uncle bought this farm in 1881. I farmed here all my life and I raised uh, corn and soybeans and I last few years I've been raising cover crops. Well conservation is very important to me. You know farmers get to use that drop of rain before anybody else does. You know we live in a system you know, the things I do affect people downstream. It eventually goes down to the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, everybody along the way has, has an impact on that. And I guess as a farmer, uh, you know, I feel it's uh, important for me to, to be aware of that and to do the things I can do to protect that water. We're working with farmers and landowners to promote conservation practices that benefit soil, that improve soil, that maintain the soil. I adopted new practices, drip tillage, a nutrient management plan. I installed a wood chip bioreactor, which denitrifies the water going into the stream. Started uh, seeding uh, cover crops on my fields. Practices that we are promoting for soil health, for agricultural production, for clean water, those same practices can benefit climate. So soils can sequester carbon, if you turn the soil over, then you get a release of the carbon. If we can do no-till, you know, you're not disturbing that soil, and so you're not releasing what carbon has been pulled in to the root systems. If we do better fertilizer management, we can sequester carbon, and we can also reduce nitrous oxide, which is a greenhouse gas. When I first started these practices, I went to meetings. I listened to other farmers that were doing these things, and uh, that's how I gained confidence to do it. You know, farmers have been doing the same thing all their life, uh, don't often want to change, and that's, that's, human, that's human nature. But uh, I guess I've seen the benefits and uh, realized that for long-term sustainability in order to preserve our soil, you know, these practices really have to take place 